Hi, everybody. If you ever thought that you needed more cowbell in your production, but you don't have a cowbell and you wanted to turn your desk into more cowbell, well, this is the appropriate tutorial for you. So what I'll be demonstrating today really is Cubase's hit point detection and how you can use that to make MIDI tracks. And then from there, you can put in whatever samples you want. And I have this actually labeled drum snare, but what I'm gonna change it to is drum cowbell because I thought, hey, that more cowbell thing was funny about 10, 15 years ago. Why don't I try to capitalize off of the decade old success of that sketch in my tutorial today? So this will be a cowbell. And in order to do this, uh, let's just start by recording a cowbell little lick, why don't we? So I got my drums, and I'm gonna play on my desk here. There we go. So let me just kill the parts where I was talking because that's not necessary. And we'll play it back. Very exciting. But I want to turn this into a cowbell. So what I've done here is I've loaded up an instance of Groove Agent. And I was going to make it the snare, which is D1. But instead, there's a cowbell on this, which you can see right here is G sharp 2. So all I need to do is go into this sample, find the hit points, and map them to G sharp 2, and then all the times this stick hit, it'll become a cowbell. So we go in, and there's a threshold thing here, and you can see the threshold, those lines. So I want to get it down pretty precise. And this is good for if you're actually doing real drum replacement and there's like a hi-hat or something, but you're trying just to get the snare drum and there's some bleed, you can get the transients that are big enough to be the snare drum while leaving out the smaller transient for your drum replacement. So we've got all of our transients that we want. And what we'll do is with the drum set selected uh, here, the groove agent, back in here, we'll just do create MIDI notes. And if you remember correctly, it was G-sharp 2. This will default to C1, which is like your kick drum. Uh, but I want it to be a cowbell, so G-sharp 2. And your only selections are new MIDI track or first selected track. You have to make sure that Groove Agent is selected or else it'll create a new MIDI track. Then you can just copy it to Groove Agent, but it's best to just have it selected in the first place. So with Groove Agent selected, I hit OK. And all those transients become cowbell hits. And the only thing is that when you choose dynamic, so let's just do that all over again. We'll go in here. We'll create. You have some other options. There's dynamic velocity, which will preserve the dynamics of your performance, or there's fixed velocity. So you could blast everything out if you wanted it at 127 or something. We'll do dynamic velocity because I'll show you that you can preserve the dynamics even though it doesn't work great. Because I think that it sees 0 dB as 127, and then the shell falls off pretty quickly. So it's created, so what you can do is just highlight everything and use this natural compression in Cubase. So it preserves the dynamics, but it compresses them a little bit. And then we have our cowbell performance. So let's listen to it. And with that, we have turned our desk into a cowbell in Cubase. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have, feel free to like or subscribe. And guess what? Take care of yourselves and have a great day. Bye.